This is a tale about a man named Amit Orange. Amit didn't know how to pronounce his name, and so he would say, My name's Amit, when in reality, his name wasn't a name at all, but was actually the word omit. It's a verb. This is Omit Orange by a dude named O-Z-D-Y, Oz-D, I would guess. And click play real quick. There he is. There's Oz-D himself. And those of you who have been members of my channel for a long time, uh, or who have watched my old videos, may get a tremendous sense of deja vu from this game. So this is not on the front page of Newgrounds. This is, you have to go, um, you have to click more games, and it shows games that are new, have been recently submitted, and they will allow you to vote. Yes, you know, is it good or not? Should we blam it? and get it off of Newgrounds. I did not blame this game, although I think it was... I think it's pointless. Let's go, let's click play, you'll see what I mean. So I've beaten all of the levels, we'll just start at level one. Remove the orange blocks by clicking on them. Okay. Well, there's two ways you can do this. You can go click, 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 and then click this orange block. Or, you can click this block and they all fall. Now, for those select few who may have seen my earlier videos, did that not seem very similar to something? I think it did. Not only the gameplay, the, the general puzzleness of it, but even the, the faces on the blocks is very reminiscent of a previous game. Keep the green blocks on the screen. Okay. Wait a minute, I remember this clock popping up too. You can remove blue blocks if you want to, but you don't have to. So we can either go click, click, and then it's all good, or we can click this, they fall off, this blue one stays, you win. Huh, for whatever reason, that one went half of a femtosecond in determining whether or not the game was over. Orange blocks with sunglasses can't be removed by clicking on them. Sunglasses is way cooler. Alright, so we click that, we click that, and then they just fall off the edge. Hmm, faces that rotate to maintain their orientation. Well, actually, faces that don't rotate and maintain their orientation while the block behind them rotates. Curiouser and curiouser. Their faces show gravity direction. Their faces show gravity direction. You know, technically that is a sentence, but I'm not happy with it. I would prefer their faces show the direction of gravity. I don't know why I would prefer it, I just would. So what do we have here? We have an issue. This guy, if I click this orange block, is going to fall and hit this guy. So I need to bump him out of the way. And everybody else just goes away. So, this is Red Remover. This is exactly what this game is. It's a game called Red Remover. I did um, more than one Let's Play. Uh, I did a Red Remover, and I think there was it was the Red Remover Player Pack. They were uh, two games that came out back in 2010 on Newgrounds. No, I'm sorry, 2009 is when Red Remover first came out. And the this author, Ozdi, in 2010 created a game called Orange Alert. It's this exact same basic game. Um, and in the description for Orange Alert back in 2010, he specifically said, yes, I was inspired by Red Remover. Um, Orange Alert by Inspired By is basically the same game, except the puzzles are changed, and they're actually not as good as Red Remover's. And this is just the same rehash of the exact same thing. We're going to go through all the levels, but you're going to see, if you go back and watch the Red Remover, and if I remember, I will link it in the description. Red Remover's puzzles, I think, were much more clever, especially the player pack, which... Okay, let's just do this, knock this... Oop. Bonk. <laughs> very slowly knock him off the edge. The player pack was very inventive. The levels in that world were rather difficult to figure out. Uh, this, this, doing. There we go. And I really enjoyed it. And in fact, I enjoyed the original Red Remover too. When am I gonna? Oh, click this orange block. I missed that the other one was there. Uh, click this. That rolls off. And there we go. It had a lot more 
depth, I'm going to say, to it. And it wasn't even a particularly deep game to begin with. Okay, I want to do this and this. Yep, there we go. But this is... Ugh. This game is too easy. If you've never played Red Remover before, this game might seem a little bit interesting. I can totally grant you that. Boink. What? Oh. All right, let's try this again. Uh, no, no. There we go. Perfect. Mm. Like, this would be a fun puzzle. This is a clever little one where you have to get the timing right. And this is another one where you have to... Nope, that is definitely not it. To get the timing. This is the one I had the most trouble on. Yay. No, I'm sorry, not this one. There's another one that I had the most trouble on, but... Um, that one took a couple tries. This one's super simple. Click. Yay. And click. I like the little pattern at the bottom. And I really, really want to understand why... And I think this was... I don't remember if this was true of Red Remover. But why does this one... Sometimes it goes a femtosecond. Sometimes it goes... I'm going to pretend that this was five seconds. And sometimes it goes the entire way around before it lets you win. Now, this is the one. This is the one that's a little bit more difficult. And I got it on the first try. Um, whenever you hit that block... See, it's going to go the whole way around that time. Sometimes this top block will tip just a little bit too much and come off. So... In Red Remover, the physics were a lot better in that the the ball and uh, balls and squares would wiggle and be subject to gravity, and they wouldn't sit perfectly still, which is why you had the clock to make sure that if something was slowly rolling towards an edge, um, you had to make sure that it stayed on that edge before uh, until the clock ran out. Here, everything is very still um, and kind of um, I don't know if I want to use the word sticky, but kind of sticky. No! Too slow. Too slow. Do I need to go the other way? Yep, it was the other way. Okay. One, then the other. See, in Red Remover, that one would be much more difficult. Because the spheres would move a little bit, and you can even tell that this is not exactly perfect. And so the way the Red Remover would work, these would slowly um, tilt. Because they're not dead center. And you would have to wait and hope and pray that that clock runs out before um, this manages to finally slip off the side. And I can see where that's a little bit more... Okay, I want to go click, click. Nope, just missed it. That'll work. Just do that. I keep forgetting that you can click the the orange. Just con You can click it anytime you want and it's gone. Uh, this one you click there and you click there. And there we go. And again, these would probably continue rolling a little bit. And I don't know if this block would necessarily stay there perfectly in Red Remover. But I don't want to beat the horse to death, but yes. Um, quite obviously, I prefer... No, missed it. Missed it a lot. Preferred Red Remover to this game. Ah, oh, I missed it again. You know the first time I played this, I did this perfect. Bonk. There we go. This level made me think, I think it would be cool if the different spheres, the different colors, had different densities. Well, I say densities. They'd have different mass. So, like, the blue ball would be more dense than the orange ball. So, if a blue ball and an orange ball hit each other going opposite directions, the blue ball wins because force equals mass times acceleration. Assuming equal acceleration, the blue ball has higher mass, so it would create greater force, and so it would overcome... Um, the force of the other. That would add a little bit more depth to the game. And this one kind of... Uh, that last level seemed like it, the place to be. This... Is, I don't know what the point of this is. I have no clue why this level shows up. Um, the one thing I didn't like about this... You could see the green block up here, but you only have this tiny little strip at the bottom to see the green block at the bottom. This is obviously the wrong answer. Bonk. There we go. That's not completely obviously wrong. But I don't know why you would do it that way when you can just click the two orange and then they're done. This one's kind of clever. Um, and it's a little bit difficult. you got to click them fast enough. Uh, uh, you know what? I actually know another way I can do that. I won, even though everything fell off the screen. I think what I want to do is this. This. 
Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to see if I can do it this way, though. All right. Hold it. Hold it. No. Dang it. Wrong one. All right. What I'm trying to do is get rid of these blue ones afterwards since they're not going to sit perfect. Um, no matter what I do, it's going to lean a little bit. So get rid of that. Nope. I'm not clicking the right one. I keep thinking they're facing the opposite direction. And so I keep wanting to click the one on the right first, even though that's definitely not the one I want to click. Yeah, oh, I missed clicking it. Otherwise, that would have been perfect. All right, click that, click that, click that. And he rolls off the side, because that's how, that's how cubes roll when you drop them. And he rolls off the side, but that's all right. We already got this one. Let's go back to the menu. I don't know what level that is. Let's go to level 18. All right, we've been here before. Click. None of these tell you, as you're going through them, what level you're on, and so you're just kind of, uh, at the mercy. Okay, so it's obviously not level 19, it's level 21. Okay, so here, I don't want to do this, let's do that, let's do that, let's do... Nope, that's not it. What you have to do is get this one through, that one's completely pointless, and then you have to time this right, and I did not right there, so that they get stuck. Click. And, nope, need to get it a little bit faster than that. Dunk. There we go. This is one of the levels I'm talking about where the, the physics and everything's just a little bit too sticky. Um, that would definitely be a more difficult level in Red Remover. This... How do I want to do this? You need to do this, this, this. Bonk, bonk. And he did not really give that one the bonk I wanted him to. So let's try that again. All right, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Doom, doom. And it didn't do it. What did I do the first time I tried this level? I want to say I did just this. And it, it knocked this guy off the side, but it's totally not doing it this time. I did it this way. Boom. <laughs> That's useless. But it does display a little bit the stickiness that I've mentioned before. There we go. That's what happened the first time I played this level. It knocked the one off the one side and dragged the other one off the other. Ah, uh, what do we got here? Need to make this go up, so I'm going to get rid of... Do I want to get rid of this one? Yeah, get rid of this one. Bonk. Bonk. Dunk. I do like the symmetry of that. That's a very beautiful level. And here's one. Red Remover had these twisty levels, and I do I definitely remember a couple where you'd click one box, and then the boxes would spin and then kind of shoot off in all directions. This is that level. And so what we need to do, this green thing is facing this way. So it's going to fall off the top of the screen. So we need to rotate these blocks to push the green one on top of this blue block. And so what will happen is if I get rid of this, I'll just show you what happens. If I click this, they all twist off like that. That's a pain in the butt. So if I click this one and then this one, it'll rotate. It didn't do it this time. Huh. The last time I tried that, it rotated it right on top of the box. Nope, still did not do it. Huh. Literally the first time I played this level, I clicked this, and then I clicked that, and it worked. So what happened that it's not working now? I don't know. Alright, let's do this. Boonk. Nope, not quite, but closer. Boonk. There we go. That's not the way I did it the first time. Whee! But, I guess it works. And I believe that's the last level. Nope, this is the last level. Or maybe the other one was the last level. I mean, maybe the next one is the last level. My brain isn't working anymore. So this is a pretty simple puzzle. Once again, because of the stupid U uh, UI, the HUD, I suppose, um, down here, you can't 
you might not notice that there's a blue block down there. So there is a blue block down there. So we let this fall, pushes that out of the way. Uh, we let this fall. We let this move to push that out of the way, and that did not quite go the way I wanted it to. All right, do that. Yay. Do that. Do that. And bonk. There we go. There's a couple of them I was one click off what I should have been. Okay, that was the last level. That's all 25. So compare that to Red Remover in the number of levels, the um, variety of levels, the, as the puzzle aspect, especially in the timing and the physics. And like I said, considering that this came out four years after he made basically the same game, look at the Red Remover player pack and compare that to this. Because this that's what the player pack is what this should be. You had four years and a previous iteration of the game to work on that. So I'm not happy. And I left a review. I'm going to scroll down here. So here's me. Once upon a time, there was a game called Red Remover. It inspired Ozzy to create a game called Orange Alert, which was very similar, but not as polished. Now we have yet another rehash of Red Remover by Ozzy. The four years since Orange Alert have made their game run much smoother. The original Orange Alert, it's very slow. Um, as the pieces are falling and that, everything is just so molasses-y. However, I do not see anything that really warrants yet another rehash of the same game. I suppose the puzzles are acceptable if you've not played Red Remover or the original Orange Alert. You know, these are decent puzzles, but like I said, the guy already made this game once before. He did not make Red Remover, let me make that clear. Um, but he made the Orange Alert, and so this should have been a much more inventive and a much more Red, Alert, uh, Red Remover player pack-esque game. Until next time. That's a lot of complaining about this game, but it really upset me because I was really, really hoping for a better game out of it. Alright, bye-bye.